Hey guys, welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars comparison video. Today we're comparing the AT-AT to the Heavy Assault Walkers. Basically the original trilogy set to the sequel set, yeah, respectively. So what we're going to do first is look at some general stats for both of these vehicles, and then we'll start out with the minifigs, and then we'll move on to looking at the builds. First up here, we're going to be taking a look at some quick facts with the Heavy Assault Walker. And now the 2021 at it. Now that that's out of the way, we can take a look at our minifigs. We're going to first start with the minifigs from the First Order Heavy Assault Walker. We're going to go from good guys to bad guys here, and starting off with probably the most boring fig, which is Ray. However, I do believe this is one of two sets that comes with this version of Ray, the other one being Snoke's Throne Room, but that one was not as expensive as the Heavy Assault Walker, so there is an easier way to get Ray, which is nice. Pretty normal looking minifig, nice hairpiece, nice body print, and of course, the blue lightsaber. Next up, we have Poe Dameron, which is not an exclusive fig, but a very nice version of Poe. I like this one better than the one that they had for The Force Awakens. The black jacket looks nice. I really love his hair print as well, and the two faces make this minifig really cool. Last of our good guys here, we have this Rebel Trooper, or Resistance Trooper, who is exclusive to this set. Next up, we have the only other exclusive minifig to the set, and that is the Heavy Assault Walker Pilot, which basically just has a Flame Trooper helmet piece that is a little bit different with that gray stripe, and then a nice little light blue, gray and white suit. And then lastly, we have your basic First Order Stormtrooper. Moving on to the minifigs from the new 2021 ADAT. -AT. Now there are a few duplicate minifigs, so I'll only be showing one for those. To start things off, we have one of the two snow troopers. The two are identical, however, so I only need to show one. You get completely identical ones in other 2020 sets, so these aren't exclusive, but they are a new design. However, they're not super new. There are also two of these AT-AT drivers. I love the new mold. It's not very new, but this is the second set I got with them, and they just look really nice. Last up for our bad guy lineup, we have Mr. Veers here with the really nice helmet. It's the same one that they used in the Han Solo TIE Fighter set, and it looks really great for this minifig general. Veers looks very nice, and he does have two faces. And then lastly, we have a minifig that's been made too many times to count the Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing pilot gear, however in this case he was in a snow speeder. One cool detail about this minifig is you can see his goggles are pushed up on one of his faces and then down on the other one, and that's a really nice detail. Here we get a nice look at both sets of minifigures from the two sets. Now the way that I can compare these is that the 2021 minifigs are basically almost a little bit of an army builder selection. You have two of these and two of these, which are very much army builder minifigures. General Veers is exclusive to the set as of now. There's rumors that he will also be in the new UCS ATAT -AT coming out later this year. The Luke isn't really exclusive. I'm not sure if they've used that face print before, but his minifigure in that suit is very versatile, so nothing too special. I do think this one is, like I said, kind of an army builder. Obviously, you wouldn't want to be bulking up on AT-ATs just for the troops, but it is nice to add to your Imperial Army. Now, this one's a little bit different. You get two exclusive minifigs in this one, and that is the Heavy Assault Walker Pilot and the Resistance Trooper. Poe and Ray only come in two sets each, I believe, including this one. And then the First Order Stormtrooper is an army builder, but obviously you wouldn't spend that much money just to army build with one First Order Stormtrooper. That's kind of where I stand. Let me know if you think differently. I think both selections are nice. For $10 more, you get the extra minifig here, but since two of them are duplicates, I don't know if you really think 10 bucks more is worth the extra minifig since you have two duplicates anyway. I don't know, I'll leave it up to you to decide, but I think it's worth it. Now, before we get on to our two walkers, I do wanna quickly mention that the 2021 at, -AT comes with these two extra pieces. And one of them is the E-Web Cannon, which looks really nice. It's a new model, new design, and it looks fantastic. It's easy for a minifig to hold, and it sits on the ground nicely. We also have a new Snow Trooper bike. 
I don't like this one as much as the old one from the old battle pack, surprisingly enough. I loved it when they used to sling a backpack over the back, and I just don't love the new design as much. But it is nice to get two little extra builds because that set is $10 more at $160. Now before we compare these two bad boys, I'm going to go over some quick features and then we will compare them. I just think knowing the features will make your understanding better and help me explain my points better. Starting off with the 2021 model, you can see that the cockpit opens up here. This door slides up to reveal an interior that is very large. It also opens up on the other side. In the back, you can lift this part down like so. You can stow your bike in here just like so. And then when you need it, you can pull it out. That's really nice. Now my favorite feature for this set is if you pull up this panel and then you turn this, it will lower this little harpoon gun on a string so you can recreate the classic scene from the movie where Luke harpoons himself up to the top and blows up the AT, -AT with a thermal detonator. Really cool details. Let's look at the features of this one. Now this one doesn't have quite as much to offer as play features, but here we have this part opening. I forgot to mention the other one does have stud shooters in the front as well, or the spring-loaded missiles, but I just figured that was kind of a given. Um, this panel opens to create this nice little hallway. This one opens, which is nice. And then lastly, this cannon can be moved up and down and around, and it looks quite nice. Now we can compare these two actually built both of these fairly recently. And as far as the building goes, this one is a bit more tedious because you do have to build each leg exactly the same four times. So when you build one leg, it just says times four. And once you're done, you have to do it three more times. That part was kind of tedious. This one, you only had to build the back legs twice. And then the front one, since they are left and right, you had to build them separately. So you're still building four legs, essentially. However, in this one, you just build it exactly the same four times. These ones, the front and the back are different, which is nice. And then these two are built separately. So it just feels like a lot less to worry about. However, my issue with this one is the legs are not very strong, and that is because while they're all the same, and these front ones are really sturdy and keep this thing from moving. I will say the legs are better on this one, and they have nice details. I think I personally like the detailing more on this one than this one, just because they're all the same, and this one just has more to offer. Now, if we take a look at the sides here, you will notice that this one has a bigger interior looking space and it is really shown because this one only has two little areas that open while this one has one giant door that swings open to have seating and a speeder in there, which is really nice. So as far as interior space, this one definitely wins out. And in the heads too, you can tell that this one is smaller, but they are similar sized, but you can actually fit General Veers and the two drivers in here. You can only fit one minifig in here, which is kind of unfortunate. Obviously this top section is nicer just because it has the cannon and some more detailing on the back, but this one does have the compartment that opens back here while this one doesn't. So I don't know, you can kind of give them a tie on that one. As for the heads go, I love the way this part looks compared to this part. Obviously they're not supposed to be the same at at, so they're supposed to be different, but I really love the use of this piece. As far as the front goes, I don't really like these big guns here. They just look too big to me. However, I do like these two front guns. I think this one has the better front, although this one is really awesome as well. So overall, this one is definitely more sturdy. This one has more playability. And as far as looks go, they're two different models, so it's kind of hard to compare them in that aspect. But this one does have a nicer lower half, and I think this one has a nice middle, while this one has the better top half. Now, as far as pricing goes, obviously this one is older. I believe it was 2018, while this one's 2021. This one was priced at $150. This is priced just $10 more. But with $10 more, you get an extra minifig, two little builds, and I think just way more interior space. The building on both of them was pretty similar. I'd say this one was a little bit more tedious because there was so much more technic just because there's less of an interior. This one has less technic, unfortunately, that leads it to be less sturdy than this one. 
The only issue I had with the 2021 version was attaching that harpoon cable thing. It just took forever to string that little string through things. And I'm not sure if it's because I have big hands or whatever, but it took a very long time. As for which one is better, honestly, it's a 2021 version. I mean, it's newer, so the design's gonna be better. For $10 more, you get so much more bang for your buck. And while this one is very cool, it makes more sense to buy this one because this one only shows up in one movie and a pretty hated movie at that. It wasn't my favorite either. This one can be used for a lot more because it is seen in more than just Battle of Hoth. So you can buy it and use it for a lot more if you're a mock or stop motion creator. This one just has less to offer as far as movie scenes to recreate. 